and what I understand what you're saying about tyrannical government. And, yes, and I, understand, I understand what and and quite honestly, as as law enforcement officers, there's no one more concerned about people's rights than us, right? I, I, I mean, I know that, that depending I on think what, we need more people like you. Then you know, my, my job, my partner's job, is to make sure that not only do we in, enforce laws, but that we also protect the rights of individuals. You and I obviously disagree when it comes to to this and 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 i know that a conversation roadside here is not going to change that. right so here's what we're going to do we're going to go back run some checks i'm gonna have you stay in the vehicle for me if you don't mind i need you to move this no i'm not here. doing that sir it's I private to, I'm, I, it's I, private property i know you say that but here's the thing is so I, if you want to violate my rights mm -hmm. go ahead and do it but there so are consequences I, I no, so just listen yeah I have no plans of searching your vehicle. I have no plans of doing anything. However, because this vehicle was operated on the public roadway, I do have the opportunity to identify it. Okay, well, okay. go. I, which I cannot, which I can do by a VIN number, okay, right. which is currently covered up. Right, so exactly, like and it's for a reason. Number. Well, I understand. Right. But, so, but what I'm telling you is I have a lawful reason, okay? Right. You, Whether you, you agree with that lawful reason right. is is your own accord okay. but i'm telling you that i have a lawful reason to identify your vehicle okay all and right it, look at it it's a 2010 dodge caravan i see that but it, are you looking okay so what what is your reason for needing to identify my well, vehicle a couple, couple things are you looking for a stolen white vic van i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you a right. couple things number one i plan on issuing you a ticket and part of issuing you a ticket is identifying the vehicle which is part of the violation that we're observing okay. so i will my partner and i will be issuing you a ticket today for the violation and because of that because this vehicle was involved in that violation we have the ability to identify the vehicle number two as part of any check anytime we stop a vehicle the supreme court has said that basic information including your name your address and vehicle information we're able to get okay okay oh, oh i forgot i have this for you too uh this is add this to your investigation because uh these are yours okay so this is a this is a fbi copyright warning my name is copyrighted and also this is a notice to all peace officers and other officials okay and it's incumbent and advantageous for you to read that because if you decide to violate my rights today sir there are consequences for that i'll need your bond numbers and your badge numbers and uh we, the national action task force will be in touch with your uh with yep. your and, and they can be and that's fine yeah but i i don't think based off of what i've explained to you no, read it sir I, I will but i'm not going to do that right here okay. i'm talking to you i don't believe and based off of my training and based off of the laws mm -hmm. and rules that Minnesota allows me to operate on, I'm not violating your rights as I and the government would see them. You might disagree with that, right, and okay. that is okay. Okay. But what I'm telling you is we're planning on issuing you a ticket. All right. Your vehicle was involved in a violation. We are able to identify your vehicle as part of that violation. Oh, this is yours too. This is my cancellation letter yep. that I sent to the... Uh... Yep. Oh, what? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. No, that's the I cancellation. I, I know what all of this is. Yep, for but, sure. But sir. again, I don't. I'm not. I'm not here roadside to disagree or argue yeah. any of this. Yeah. I thing. I can tell that you're not. You're not gonna. You're gonna. You know. You're training your officer, so you got to stand your ground. And no, uh, no, no. So I, listen. It has nothing to do with that. It, it has to do with the fact that you and I can have a disagreement on what yeah. the law is, and the place to do that is court. Is court. Outside. Yeah, true. So and thank you. This is going to be right. a, a, a landmark case right here because yeah. uh, I'm not uncovering my VIN number. Okay. And listen, in order for you to do that, you're going to have to violate my rights because you need a warrant, a lawful warrant to search me, right? So how are you going to get my well, VIN number if in, you don't that search? Case, not necessarily, but I'm not going to get into case it law is. with you. I, this is private property, and you cannot. I don't consent for you to you look know. in my car or I'm open aware. my door at all. I'm aware of that. So in order for you to get my VIN number and come in my vehicle, you have to have a constitutionally lawful warrant signed by a real judge, a magistrate judge, not a not and a the Supreme Court of the United States has actually said that that's not accurate. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, so, I mean, again, I I know you we're not going to agree gonna at all. Right. 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 In any way, shape, so, or uh, I mean, I uh, I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, so in order for you to get my VIN number, you're going to have to violate my rights. Okay, well, I, I have no plans on doing that. Okay. Okay? I'm not going to, like, right, we're looking at the level of offense here. We're looking at a driving conduct, driving right. conduct, right? I have no plans of ripping you out of this car. Thank you, for, sir. For a driving violation. <laughs> I'm, trust me, I will what be I do, compliant at that What point. I would appreciate, though, is whether you agree with it or not, okay, 
understand that my job and whether you agree with the terms of my job in this particular case don't matter right now, right? You can have right. a disagreement with me in the place for that as court, and that's fine. Right. But what I'm telling you is that as part of what we're doing, because we're planning on issuing you a citation, I have the legal ability to identify your vehicle, mm -hmm. as we've already identified you, and mm -hmm. I understand that you don't want to do that. But I'm asking for your cooperation because as as you've been um, as you've been happy with the respect that we've shown you, yeah. I uh, I would like the same courtesy, which right. I know that you don't necessarily. I'm not telling you you have to, but what I am saying is we have a lawful right to identify your vehicle. Okay, so you say that. So you know the where where the battle in court is this. So you know I have a right just to not even say a word to you, Absolutely. right? This whole time I could have Absolutely. not said anything. I so I've given that to you, right? Mm -hmm. And so. That's the, exactly. where, where the battle comes in in court is where you think that I'm breaking the law and I'm telling you that I'm not. So Correct. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm not going to do that. It's, just, it's my right to. It's, it's, it's my private property. It's not stolen. You're not looking for a description of my vehicle. And, and it's principle. I could easily show you. But it's principle. not necessarily true on the description because actually when we dealt with you over at the gas station, before you violated the law, they actually provided a description of your vehicle. Well, is it stolen? So. Well, here's a the stolen thing. vehicle. That's what I'm talking about. Here's the thing: is what you're telling me is you're telling me what you believe is a valid reason to identify your vehicle. What you believe is important, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you that whether you believe it's important or not, mm -hmm. and whether you agree with it, I have a legal right to identify you and your vehicle. And if you're going to operate your vehicle on the Minnesota roadway, you have to have a specific set of things in place, which you don't have. Right. There is a place for you to be able to argue that right. right now is not the time. So again, I'm in I'm in the same boat. I'm not really wavering on that. Right. Okay. That's fine. Uh, but under contract law, I have a right to contract. We're not dealing with contract. And I have a right not to contract. I've canceled my contract, and I've showed you the documentation of me canceling that. So, if, in my sovereign will, you know, I'm not, you know, whatever the sovereign movement you guys say, but. I'm a sovereign. I can make my own decisions whether or not to contract with the DMV. I've canceled it, and you have my cancellation letter. So and what I'm telling whatever you. registers in your vehicle. Also, that's not my name. Whatever, whenever you run my name, that's called an ens legis. It's a creature of law. It's a creature has its own personality. Has its own has its own operation within law. It has nothing to do with me. And you have the cancellation letter. So the name you run just right now and pull up. That's not me. It's an all capital fictitious entity created by the government. Yep, I'm I'm aware of that. Okay, so sweet. Yeah, I gave you my true I'm well, identification. I'm well versed in in the sovereignty related to all of this. Right. So uh, that's my identification there. That is my my birth date yeah, we, and my identification. We haven't even gotten that direction. Yet. Yeah. So. Okay. So uh, you can't don't don't try to say that I'm someone else that I'm not because I gave you my identification. Yeah. So. Just saying, man. Thank so you, guys. This, this isn't your name. This is just your paper picture. That's my name and my. That's my proper identification. This isn't your legal name. What, what does identification mean? I mean, the simple terminology so you're, of so you're identification. Not giving yeah. a peace officer your legal name. You're giving. That is my legal identification and my legal name. Yes. This that's my name. Okay. So, we're. I'm not on the name thing right now. I'm right. on identifying your vehicle. I you violate my rights if you want to, sir. I'm just telling you, I gave you a notice, and uh, you know you you can violate my rights if you want to. But the only way you're gonna get my VIN number is if you violate my rights, because okay. I'm not I'm not gonna uncover my VIN for you. Okay. So I've already told you multiple times that I have a lawful reason to identify your vehicle. Right, but okay. you can't do it unless you violate my rights. Okay. Well, the Minnesota Supreme Court has also said that when I'm conducting an investigation and I have probable cause. So, so I mean, I you mean, keep I'm cutting me off. Look, I'm look, you're, 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 you're opposed. I know, but you keep saying, I'm, I'm trying to I'll tell you something. That's fine. I keep, I keep trying to tell you the law that I know and you keep, we're not talking you about that, you but keep you keep assuming. That, but you believe that the Supreme Court case, you keep saying Supreme Court like it has a, some weight on it. What you're saying is irrelevant to me because I'm a private American national. I have not contracted. Yeah, what you're saying is right if my vehicle was registered and if I registered by the license plate. I'm not contracting with you guys, so you have no jurisdiction over my person or my vehicle. Your jurisdiction is, is 
is nothing. You don't have jurisdiction what over I'm me. Telling you is that that's not accurate. It is. Okay. I know that's what you believe. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. I'm traveling in my a, private conveyance. On a public roadway. Yeah, which is the land God gave me. God gave me this land. There's standards and stuff that the government upholds that we have to uphold. When to you allow contract, you yes. To when allow, you contract. To allow you to drive on a public roadway. Right. When you contract. So right now, as he told you many times, we have to identify you and you have to identify your vehicle All right. because you're on a public roadway. Well, it's been back and forth. Thank you guys for your time. I am going to reserve my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent from here on out. Okay. So that's fine. So here's what, here's what I'm going to have you do then. I'm going to have you stay in the car. You're going to stay there. You're not going to get out. Okay? All right. For any reason, because you are detained. Okay? All right. You understand? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be combative or disobey. No, Perfect. So I'm not That's a combative. I'm not combative at all. I'm so a peaceful inhabitant. Yep. You guys have dangerous weapons, it. and I, I'm scared. And so. I have, I, I have all the, <laughs> the, 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 the trust in you that you will abide by my instructions. Yes, yeah, sir. So no problem. Tight. We'll be right back. All right, you, sounds all right. good, sir. This is great, guys. So. That's why, okay. Listen to me. Yeah. Meaner violation. Guys, uh, I created you. Here's. I, no, I'm taking it. Uh, I want to. Investigation, and I was. Uh, I want to avoid. So, uh, I want to avoid. So I'll show you my VIN number if that. Uh, I want to. I have a lawful reason to identify you. I have. Uh, uh, they judge us. Okay, we got. We got. <laughs> uh, he's all right. He's oh, no. A, I'm all right. All right. He's all right. a good guy. <laughs> Here's what, Cold, gonna, uh, it's always so here's what I'm going to tell you. All right. Shh, go. So, at this point, yes. you are under arrest. Oh, really? Yes. For? Okay. For obstruction. Really? Okay. And as a result of the misdemeanor violations. Oh, okay. wow. So, so, so I'm going to so jail. Listen, so listen to me. So, at this time, right, I have a lawful reason to identify So am I going to jail? I have a lawful reason to identify you. Yeah. Okay. You've obstructed our investigation, and I was been more than patient with you mm -hmm. in what I'm going to do. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have you step out of the car. Okay. 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 So, so listen. Okay. I don't. I want to avoid. So I'll show you my VIN number if that can avoid it. You okay. can identify my vehicle. We are past that point. Right? Oh, all right. So, so I'm going to jail, guys. So listen. So listen to me. Yeah. I want you to shut off your vehicle. Yes, sir. And I'm going to have you step out of the, the vehicle for me. All right. Uh, can I put my dog in the house? I, we will take care of that. Am I going to jail? Step out of the car. All you right. Under arrest. All right, guys. Your phone can stay right there. It's going in my pocket. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yep. Step out for me. All right. Uh, can my keys are on the floor. No, I'm taking it. Wait. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have not been combative. You guys, no, not, not. You guys don't have to grab me hard. I'm compliant. Don't yep. worry about it. Okay, guys? So this is cool. Uh, you know, you guys will be receiving a notice of a claim for damages yep. for uh, violating my rights here. Yep. I'm 100% aware of that. All right. No, 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 sir. That's my phone. You can't take that. All right. Let's go over here. Well, the problem is you're under arrest.